Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. I'm your host, Pete Pardo. Uh, this is the show where we take a look at a lot of the new releases that are coming out in the worlds of uh, heavy metal, hard rock, classic rock, progressive rock, jazz fusion. We cover a lot of ground here on the channel. Today, we're going to look at a new release from a band that's been around for a long time, uh, Ohio's very own Pooba Evolver slash Rev Love, which is basically Evolver spelled backwards right so that's the brand new release so if you haven't heard of Pooba, uh like i said these guys have been around a long time they do debut back in the early 70s this is the band started up by a guy named jim gustafson guitar player and vocalist and songwriter and uh you know Pooba, in the eyes of many were one of those little known bands here in the u.s that helped kind of start the whole stoner rock or stoner stoner metal movement all right you listen to some of their old stuff it's just heavy heavy music rooted in psychedelia big doomy riffs scorching bluesy fuzz laden guitar solos lots of wah wah all that kind of stuff they released a, a bunch of albums throughout the 70s sporadically throughout the 80s 90s so on and so forth they've never really gone away they've kind of like uh, reared their heads every couple of years with something new and jim and company have this brand new one hot off the presses so basically this is uh, jim gustafson on guitars, vocals, and bass on this album. He's got a guy named Mike Fortino on drums. So basically for the album, it's just the two of those guys. And uh, and there's, uh, I'm assuming, is Jim and Mike, and not sure who the lady is. But uh, Jim also plays a little harmonic on the album. So like I said, if you've never listened to Poobah, they've got some pretty cool, pretty heavy stoner rock psychedelic albums back in the 70s and uh, this album here which has 11 new tracks really heavy and a real great throwback to some of those early Pooba albums i mean for, first of all you know uh, i've been talking to jim on facebook and uh, he was you know very um nice enough to send me a copy of this new cd and he's you know he's really into it he's like you're really gonna love it really gonna love it and I put it on the first time, I, as soon as I got it, and there's the first song on the album called The Lifting, which is like, just like a punch in the face of like, and I, if you went onto the website this morning and read my review of like, kind of like molten lava guitar riffing and soloing. I mean, it's just so heavy. It's just dripping with fuzz, and the leads are like, you know, just absolutely searing. You got pinch harmonics all over the place. The vocals are outstanding. The riffs are just gargantuan. And it's just like, it's one of the best openers to an album I've heard this year. I mean, just like, holy like cow, like wham, in your face. And it doesn't let, doesn't let up from there. So you got all these other tracks that, again, there's a little bit of variety here. So you've got, you know, a couple more bluesy numbers. Uh, you've got uh, some like real kind of doomy atmospheric type tracks, you know, Burning in the Rain, the last song, again, kind of hints at a little bit of doom, like lots of psychedelia. Uh, Desire's a really cool song. Walking Shoes is more like uh, kind of like um, bluesy boogie, right? Got some harmonic, got some slide guitar, that sort of thing. Uh, Come On, Let It Go has some really cool uh, vocal harmonies. All right, it's kind of catchy. Lucky's a great song. Designing a uh, million times, really moody, kind of bluesy, but again, got that psych and doom vibe going all over the place. Calculates another great song. Character, bad place, kind of catchy. You know, considering it's just really the two of these guys here, I mean, this is big, fat stuff. Uh, lethal guitar playing. You know, really good vocals, perfectly fit the music. Uh, there's tons of groove. You know, the, uh, his Jim's bass work is mighty fine as well. Um, the drums are really cool. I, I dig it. I dig it. And it's just it's just so, like, kind of so 70s sounding. But it's got, like, that late 70s, early 80s, like, kind of, like, doomy vibe. As well as some of the, you know, a lot of I mean, stoner, stoner music, stoner metal, stoner rock, whatever you want to call it, was popping up all over the place, like, in the late 80s into the early 90s. You know, bands like uh, Crowbar and then eventually Down and uh, Monster Magnet and all these type of bands. But, you know, if you go back to the 70s, I mean, you know, kind of Sabbath started the whole thing. You got Pentagram, St. Vitus, right? Uh, and these guys. and But uh, these guys, a lot more psychedelia in their music, which is really cool. But, man, just some absolutely scalding guitar work on here. Jim keeps saying that there's... there's uh, 
more guitar on this album, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but more guitar on this album than, is, than was probably humanly possible. And I uh, can't say I argue that much, Jim. So, uh, yeah, I really dig this a lot. I definitely think, like I said, if you like just good, fuzz-laden, heavy rock stuff with the, lots of psych influences, some blues and doom, it's all here, folks. All here. Pooba. Evolver. I'm just going to call it Evolver because there's no sense, you know, it's, I think it's, that's how it's supposed to read. Evolver. But, again, you read it backwards and... Uh, Evolver backwards is Rev Love. Whatever. <laughs> but pretty cool stuff. So there's the back. All right. Check it out. Uh, I believe if you go, you can order it directly from uh, Jim's website, the Poo Bah website. And uh, he may have it for sale on other outlets as well. But definitely go and investigate this. Uh, like I said, go. If you're, if you're kind of on the fence or you've never heard Poo Bah before, um, go check out the song The Lifting. It's the first song on the album. That's incredible. Burning in the Rain is another really, really good one. Come On, Let It Go is awesome. Million Times, another great one. Those are probably my favorites, but, you know, Desire is also really good. Calculate. A lot of really strong tracks here. But The Lifting, it's funny. For me, I think my two favorites are the ones that bookend the album. The Lifting and Burning in the Rain. Absolute, absolute barn burners right there. So Poo Bah Evolver, check it out. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org where you'll see a full track-by-track -track analysis of this album as well as over 22,000 other album reviews. Check us out on Facebook, follow us there, like us there, and follow us on Twitter as well. But of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. So uh, this will be the last you guys are going to see me probably till after Thanksgiving. So, uh, you know, for those of you who do not live in the U.S., you probably may or may not have any idea what Thanksgiving is, but it's a national holiday here in the U.S. So for all of my uh, American friends, uh, please enjoy the time with uh, friends and family over the next two days. And uh, we'll see you all over the weekend. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye.